Hi, welcome to this Twinkle CPD video. In today's video, we will introduce you to the CPA approach of teaching mathematics. CPA stands for Concrete Pictorial Abstract, and it attempts to help children improve their understanding of abstract mathematical concepts. It uses concrete resources such as real life objects, counters or cubes, pictorial representations such as drawings or diagrams, and finally, abstract representations such as numbers. The concrete stage introduces children to an idea, skill or concept by using real life examples. For example, if a problem talks about apples, then try and use real apples when exploring the problem. Children can then begin to use other physical objects, such as cubes or counters, to represent the apples. These objects are often referred to as maths manipulatives and are a great way for pupils to investigate different concepts. Consider a problem such as this. Jack has seven red sweets and Hafsa has four blue sweets. How many sweets do they have all together? Now a good place to start would be to allow children to investigate the problem using real sweets. They could then be asked to count the total number of each colour before counting the overall total to represent a sum. So 7 red sweets add 4 blue sweets equals 11 sweets altogether. The next step would be to use manipulatives such as cubes or counters to represent the problem, perhaps replacing the red sweets with red cubes and the blue sweets with blue cubes. When pupils are comfortable solving problems using real life objects and manipulatives, they can begin to relate to the concept by using pictorial representations. This often involves pupils using pictures or diagrams of the concrete objects they were previously using. For example, pupils could draw seven red cubes and four blue cubes before counting up the total. Pictorial representations are a great way to link concrete representations to abstract representations. The Bohr model is often used as a pictorial representation as it can be used to show proportions. Children will often use Bohr models when they have become more comfortable drawing pictures of the manipulatives they were using in the concrete stage. Finally, pupils will be asked to solve problems that only involve numerals, mathematical symbols or other mathematical notation. For example, rather than using concrete or pictorial representations, pupils will simply be asked to solve 7 add 4 equals The concrete and pictorial representations are there to help children to understand the abstract mathematics. It's a good idea to show concrete pictorial and abstract representations side by side so that children can begin to make links between them. The ultimate goal is for children to be able to access the abstract stage of learning. The more opportunities that they have to make links between the different representations, then the easier this will be. Educators familiar with the approach will understand when to move back and forth between the stages to reinforce learning and investigate concepts. The approach is not linear and not all of the stages need to be covered in one lesson for effective learning to occur. It's also worth noting that the CPA approach is not just for younger pupils or those that are finding a concept tricky. All pupils, regardless of age or confidence levels, can benefit from using the three stages of the CPA approach simultaneously in their learning. So there we are. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to check out the Twinkle CPD page for more great content and I'll see you next time.